I think we've got a tough case of what I call Trump fatigue. Hate him or like him. Donald Trump has become something of an albatross to the stock market. He may claim that, and his team may claim that the market's ability to make records, like he did even today during the moment, unfortunately, during, uh, right after the aftermath of the shooting, that the reason why the market's going up is because of him. Um, but remember, even though we did have records yesterday in the Dow and the S&P, I think that has less to do with the president's own success rate. It's important to point out that our stock market is not one of the great performers in the world right now. And I think it's because we are beginning to get our arms around the fact that Trump is not exactly what I would call a great uniter. Now, we would have thought that we needed one uh, with, bo with, one, with both houses of Congress and the White House dominated by Republicans. Who would have thought we needed a uniter? But when you start worrying about things like debt ceilings and budget deals becoming contentious, you would think that we are back in the old nothing done universe when President Obama was in the White House. Sometimes I can't tell you if Trump's being naive or clever or just plain obstinate, but we have to begin to accept that Washington is now an actual negative, not something neutral, as I outlined on last month's call. The stocks that are going up are going up not because of Trump. Trust me on this.